Okay, to the formats. This first piece is an 8.5 by 11 simple self mailer. It's so basically one sheet four page with a short flap, two nested components, one which is a wallet flap RAE. It folds, tabs, inkjets, and mails. This is your standard workhorse. Next item is uh, a size that's kind of interesting, seven and a quarter by ten and a half. It's obviously an inserted newsletter. You'll see the size is much smaller. Again, one sheet four page, but it does the job. It's when you don't need as much real estate. This piece is an inserted into uh, newsletter into a six by nine, but once again, um, just eight pages, but they chose to paste this form together. So it gives it a little bit more of a finished look, the portrait orientation, the coded stock. It makes it a very professionally done piece. And again, um, a lot of real estate in this very small booklet. Moving on, we're back to a standard, about an eight and a half by 10 and 3 eighths piece, but now this is a self-mailer newsletter. But what they've done is they've used the first page as a personalized letter. So they basically de deconstructed a, a traditional package and then put it all into this format. It folds out to be a one sheet six page. You'll see that the BRE is integrated into the format and so is the reply form. So again, fold it back up, folds down to a number 10 and I think this is the, w the way of the future. We're gonna see more uh, newsletters formatted like this that are all self-contained. The last two examples are just basically large formats. This is about 17 half and a half inches long. What I like about it is it doesn't have a lot of personalization in it, except this one flap folds down uniquely to become the reply form. And this piece here is actually the integrated RAE. I think that's quite clever. And it folds down to basically an oversized self-mailer. The address block would go here. And this last piece is just um, an oversized booklet format. So you get a, a lot of pages, oversized, copy, uh, type, a lot of room for pictures. It only has personalization in the outgoing area, but again, when, once it folds down, it's an oversized piece, so it definitely stands out in the mail. In summary, here's what we learned about newsletters that stand out in the mail. Optimum page count, four to six. For color printing, a definite yes. Uncoded stock, worth considering. Insert the newsletter, it gives you a little bit more flexibility. Increase the personalization through a joined letter reply format. BREs definitely make it easy for the donor to respond. Newsletter teaser on the outer envelope, don't go without it. And keep the bindery simple on the newsletter, minimizing costs. Thank you for joining me today and contact our client services team if you'd like more information about the formats viewed. Until next time, have a great month.